It's no secret. Cameras watch our every move, whether you're at the store, driving, or in this case, entering your own neighborhood. Information is being gathered on your whereabouts at all times. WKRG News 5's Asher Red shows you the latest installation of cameras in and around Marchfield in Mobile and why the people who live there welcome the technology. In what appears to be a seemingly quiet neighborhood, there's a group of people working behind the scenes to keep it that way. Helping them do that, security cameras, capturing every single person and car entering and exiting the subdivision, even those simply driving past it. Neighborhood spokesman Dirk Young says this is something the residents asked for. In a unanimous vote for the neighborhood to be able to do this. The cameras, according to Young, run the plates on cars as they go in and out of the neighborhood. And if a wanted suspect enters the neighborhood, the Mobile Police Department gets an alert. John Murphy installed and maintains the cameras, and he says the only way to stop criminals is to catch them. That if somebody is doing breaking into vehicles or they're burglarizing stores or anything, they're going to continue to do that until you catch them. It's not just a one-time thing. Thanks to the data provided to the police department through modern technology, Murphy says police can now capture criminals much quicker than they've been able to in the past. If we can get them off the road, you know, somewhere within a day or two, you're making a big difference and a big impact on other crimes. Unlike us humans, these cameras do not blink. In fact, they're at work 24 seven. Now, when a plate is flagged or there's criminal activity in the area, the police department can tap into these cameras live to inform the responding officers of what's going on before they even arrive. And that's thanks to something called Project Shield. It's a joint effort with the communities to be able to uh, basically give a shared access to their cameras so that the officers do have more eyes uh, throughout the city. Sergeant Benjamin Tawaniski says the police department uses data and technology to create a crime forecasting model, which provides them with hot spots where crime is most likely to happen. Some of the, rep the crime statistics that we come up with from Project Shield also help with identifying those locations. In total, Tawaniski estimates tens of thousands of cameras from across the city can be accessed by MPD through Project Shield from over 500 schools, businesses, churches, and of course, neighborhoods. In Mobile, I'm Asher Red, WKRG News 5.